Dia orang cinta ataupun tidak tahu Kenapa tak minta kebenaran dekat saya hmm. A single mother's desperate plea to be reunited with her three underage children last week has reignited debate over unilateral conversions in Malaysia. Despite a federal court decision outlawing unilateral conversions in 2018, Penangai Lo Siu Hong has to contend with the conversion of her twin daughters, age 14 and 10-year-old son, without her permission. The plight of the 34-year-old woman has drawn parallels with a similar situation faced by Indira Gandhi, a Hindu mother whose three children were converted to Islam and taken away by her estranged husband, Muhammad Rizwan Abdullah. In 2009, an undeterred Indira took her case to the courts, which ultimately led to Malaysia's highest court banning unilateral conversions. Now, it is Lo's turn to contend with the conversion of her children without her permission. Lo has taken her case to the Kuala Lumpur High Court, which is set to hear her habeas corpus application on February 21st to seek the return of her children. While she awaits a day in court, questions linger as to how and why unilateral conversions are still taking place four years on despite the Apex Court's landmark decision. Lo's troubles started three years ago. She said she was a victim of domestic abuse and sought refuge at a shelter for such victims. She went to court and got a divorce. The Kuala Lumpur High Court granted her full custody of her three children and the police were ordered to ensure they were returned to her. That did not happen. Later, To her shock and dismay, Loh learned her twin daughters and son had converted to Islam and were under the care of a woman running an Islamic NGO in Penang. Recently, Perlis Mufti Asri Zainul Abidin uploaded a video that showed him querying Loh's twin daughters on their conversion over a satay meal. Asri's querying of the girls was questioned by several parties, given that the children's legal guardian, Lo, was not present and that her permission was not sought for their conversion. Ibu masih hidup. Kenapa you tak minta kebenaran daripada saya? They were kids. They were children. They were children ataupun tidak tertahu. Kenapa tak minta kebenaran dekat saya? Hmm. <laughs> Asri has confirmed that the children were converted without Lo's permission. But the Mufti insisted there was no wrongdoing and Lo's children's conversion to Islam was done in accordance with Perlis Sharia laws and would not be overturned. Saya ingin memberitahu mereka bahawasanya pada tahun 2016 Dewan Undangan Negeri Perlis telah mengubah mengubah, merubah tafsiran perkataan mengandung Islam daripada ibu dan bapa kepada ibu atau bapa. Siapa yang jadi lawyer? Dia tengok. Dari segi undang-undang negeri Perlis tidak bertentangan. In Malaysia, matters on Islam are under the state jurisdiction and therefore can differ from one state to another. The states have full powers to amend the Sharia laws, even if they may not be in step with the official position of the federal government or the courts. Efforts to streamline state and federal Sharia laws has been slow moving. Race and religion issues have at times polarized Malaysia, a country of 34 million people with more than half of them Muslims. In this case, there is a clear decision by the federal court on unilateral conversions. However, there is also the Perlis Sharia law to consider. It remains to be seen how this issue will play out and if law will be reunited with the children for good. One thing is for sure though, Lo's life and that of her children will never be the same again.
Nadia Azmi for FMT News.